Hi, and welcome to our program from Embryo to Chick. My name is Jeanette Berenger, and I'm the Senior Program Manager for the Livestock Conservancy, a national nonprofit dedicated to the conservation of rare livestock and poultry breeds. Today's topic is a visit to my chicken farm, where we'll meet some of the residents and learn a little bit about their history on the farm. So sit back and enjoy a little tour of the farm with me. The farm gets its name Le Nelouette from a small village in Brittany, France, where my family lives. The words translate to Angel of the Forest. We thought it was a great name because of the resident owl that has watched over the farm for many years. We have a little piece of Hogwarts in the front of the house to remind us of just how magical a farm and nature can be. We love to cultivate flowers for our beehives, which provide us with loads of honey and the occasional treats for the chickens. We also have all kinds of edible plants, including a large fig tree in the front yard, a favorite of the chickens. We also cultivate shiitake mushrooms and maintain a big fruit and vegetable garden, which provides food for family and friends and the leftovers for, of course, the chickens. Hi, welcome to Lunelouette Farm. Uh, we're a, a small farm in North Carolina and we specialize in raising heritage chickens and in particular we raise the breed called the Crevcor. This is a very old French breed that dates all the way back to the 12th century in Normandy. And uh, here I have a beautiful rooster. This guy here, he's about three years old and he's one of my breeding roosters and he's a little bit anxious just to get back to his girlfriends over here. Uh, but he's just a beautiful specimen. He's, he's broad and, and has a beautiful head and uh, he's very good with the hands and we just love him as a rooster. And uh, the reason we got involved with this breed is because they were exceptionally rare. When we got started, there was probably less than 200 breeding birds left in the country. And we started a recovery project with the breed about eight years ago and um, we haven't looked back since. Uh, we've been able to increase the population in America so I'd say there's probably closer to 400 breeding birds now and uh, the breed's doing much better so we're really pleased that all this hard work has paid off. This is a Crevcore hen. You can see her head is not quite as ornate as the rooster's, uh, but she's got the top knot and beard just like he does. And I hope you can see that a little bit better here. Um, but they're a delightful breed. The hens are particularly sweet, and uh, we like them because they're not only good meat birds, but they also lay a lot of beautiful big white eggs. So we really enjoy this breed on our farm. Huh. She wants to go back to her boyfriend. Here's our latest generation of Crevcores on the farm. Um, this chick is just a few days old and this chick represents about eight years worth of breeding. And uh, we actually got started with the great, 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 great grandparents of this little guy. So we've worked really, really hard to get a lot more Crevcores in the world and um, it's been paying off. Uh, this generation we're really proud of. They're very productive and, and big birds and we're really excited to see how they grow out. As you can see, our chickens have a good life here. They've got plenty of fresh air, sunshine, and of course, plenty of goodies to keep them happy. Well, that's it for the quick tour of the farm. Thank you so much for joining us. In our next segments, we will talk about exploring careers, the transition of chicks into the brooder, the basics of coops, and a final chick check-in. For more information on other programs with the Livestock Conservancy and North Carolina Cooperative Extension, please visit our websites. The Livestock Conservancy is a nonprofit that has been saving rare and endangered breeds for over 40 years. Our small staff and large network of volunteer breeders stretches throughout America to protect more than 150 breeds of poultry and livestock. 
and you can help us. Become a member of the Conservancy today and help make sure these irreplaceable genetic treasures are available for tomorrow's food and fiber systems. Thank you for joining us today and have a great day. Here's hoping your chicken projects you dream of come true. This program would not be possible without the generous support of our sponsors, including Tractor Supply, the Manton Foundation, and Premier One. Thank you all.